All right, what up, what up? We got all the positional waiver wires breaking down today, but they're all in separate videos. So if it's QB video, wide receiver video, IDP, uh, team defense, go check them out. They're all on the channel here. Hit subscribe. If you have not, we are talking about running back waiver wire ads, and it is ugly this week. It might be one of the worst weeks for waiver wire ads of the entire season. We did have an injury to Pacheco, but the one thing that sucks about him is the next man up or next men up. We got three of them here. Carson Steele. Look at what he's done so far. He's only had nine touches throughout the season. He fumbled this last game, so he has like negative points. I would be picking him up as a speculative ad, but that is it. The Chiefs, they've been pretty whack offensively, and he's no Pacheco. And he doesn't pass block like Pacheco as well, so he's probably not going to be on the field the entire time. Would I pick him up? Probably, but you better not play him. Pick him up! The other flavor of the week for the Chiefs, Samaj P. Ryan. I know there's going to be some people saying to go pick him up. Pick him up! I feel like he's going to be the third down guy. If anything, I feel like Steele would be the guy over him who's going to get more touches. But I bet you P. Ryan does get more receptions. He's only had two on the year. This was the Pacheco show, like all the way. So I even think that these guys are going to be used in a little bit more of a committee fashion than them anyways. And I got one more flavor of the week that all you guys are probably super excited about, question mark. Here's the third flavor of the week at running back. It's Kareem Hunt because we all got the news that he's went and visiting the Chiefs. I went, we look at his stats from last year. It's really not that good. You look at all these games, two single digit games right there. And look at these 16 points, one touchdown, 15 points, two touchdowns, but 15 points with two touchdowns. That means outside of the touchdowns, he scored three points off of everything else that he did. That is not good. Everything here was touchdown dependent. Touchdown here, 13 points. Touchdown, nine points. Touchdown, nine points. Six, two, five, ten points. One touchdown. Nine points. Touchdown. Nine points. Touchdown. And this was on a team that ran the ball a lot. The Chiefs do not run the ball a lot. So everybody in redraft who's thinking about go picking up Kareem Hunt because like they're thinking of Kareem Hunt in 2017. Just remember, that was in 2017. He was like, he's 28 now. Was he 21 when that was going on? He is no spring chicken anymore. And nobody in the NFL wanted him. And the only reason why he even visited the Chiefs is because they're probably the only team that really needs him that doesn't detest him. How about that? Because I don't think anybody really likes him like at all, or he would be on a team right now. You want to go pick him up? Go ahead. But I'm going to say don't even worry about Kareem Hunt. It, it sucks. Pacheco's out for six to eight weeks, and you can almost guarantee that this is going to be a two-headed committee, if not a three-headed committee. No matter what, it is going to be a headache for the Chiefs moving forward. But those are the three flavors of the week. We got a couple more guys who I'll suggest picking up as well, but it's ugly. Be prepared. Outside of these KC flavors of the week that everyone's going to be like, so enamored to get because if you have Pacheco, you got to make a move like that. But Braylon Allen. Now, here's someone who I'm not super excited about necessarily because he did get four targets. He did get two receptions. He did have seven attempts rushing. And he had two touchdowns out of nine touches. Like that is just like an insane type of touchdown percentage. Okay. Insane amount of touchdown percentage. I'm... Still not super excited about picking him up and starting him. They are going against New England. And then they got Denver the week after that. It's not against the running backs. He probably can get some things done. I would not pick him up and start him, though. Like, I definitely wouldn't do that. If anything that we're going to be chasing is going to be the volume. And I really don't think that Braylon Allen's going to get the volume moving forward. But if he's available in your league, you definitely got to go pick him up. Pick him up! Because we do got to make speculative ads here and there. We got to do it. And yeah, there's worse running backs that you could get. And I'm going to talk about some of those guys very soon. Remember how I told you that it was going to be uglier? We got Antonio Gibson. He's rostered in 16% of leagues. Only had seven touches in the first week. Had 11 attempts in week two, 96 yards. 
Only one reception, though. That's the thing. Like, when are they going to start, like, throwing the ball, like, to him? Is Jacoby Brissett just not a good check down guy or something? But Gibson, only 16% rostered. They got the Jets this week. They got the Niners the week after that. I feel like you do got to be pretty desperate. But the waiver wire is very thin this week at running back. So outside of the three flavors of the week for the Chiefs, I have four other guys to talk about. Gibson is the second one and we got two more. It's pretty ugly, but if you need a running back off the waiver wire, your running backs might be ugly as well. So let's make these moves. Let's pick them up. Pick them up. I told you that I had some ugly players to add and I am not disappointing because another rookie, Bucky Irving, who actually took a little bit of a step back in week two versus week one and Washington. Anytime your players are going up against Washington, deploy them. Okay. You look here, he got four times the points as he did going up against the Detroit Lions. But if Rashad White, if there's any kind of long term issues with his health because of the injury that he sustained, and I don't foresee him not playing or anything this week, but maybe they start getting Bucky Irving a little bit more involved in the game. And you look here, his snap percentage 31% in week one, it went a little bit up to 35% in week two and if that continues to rise i don't think he's going to be a 50 percent guy but you're here watching this video because your running backs probably suck right now or you're trying to add depth and i feel like bucky irving is going to be decent depth they got denver this week and then they got the eagles the next week not horrible matchups but not the best matchups either so this is more of don't pick them up and start them but like a lot of these guys like right now like these guys are like pick up as speculative ads moving forward so Bucky Irving more of a speculative ad at this moment unless Rashad White doesn't play but it's Tuesday when I'm recording this so make sure you're coming back for the injury reports throughout the week remember how I told you at the beginning of this show that I got some really ugly waiver wire guys for you to grab at running back and I probably saved one of the ugliest ones for last because, oh man, Ty Chandler, what? <laughs> it's ugly. It is ugly. And he's he's rostered in 29% of leagues. So he's not, not rostered anywhere. His stats have been pretty mediocre. He had seven points in week one, eight in week two. And this is a desperation ad. Because if you had Pacheco and you couldn't get any one of the other guys, for whatever reason, you had the 12th waiver wire <laughs> and everybody else got all the other running backs before you just someone who could potentially get you 10 points like maybe because he's at least had 10 um touches in each of the two games and if you're really desperate for running backs you are trying to get guys who just get a little bit of volume and that's what ty chandler get just a little bit a little bit of volume you could do a lot worse than him, but it is a desperation ad. He's got the Texans in week three. They got the Packers in week four. Not not the best, not the worst. It's ugly. It's ugly. I, I aim to please, and I try not to disappoint when I say I got ugly guys for you to add. It's ugly. So go watch all the other videos, because I'm sure we got nicer guys than Ty Chandler to talk about. If you're into IDP, we got the IDP waivers. We got the defense and special teams waivers, tight ends wide receivers, quarterbacks, everything. Go watch them. They're probably popping up right now. Click it, click it, click it, click it, click it.